We need as much escapism as we can get right now, and the album Seeking Thrills by Georgia does just that. It takes you away to the dance floor, you can be in the corner by yourself, dancing away without a care in the world, and we're so happy to have Georgia join us right now from the UK in her home studio. Georgia, thanks so much for your time, and gosh, not many of us have as many toys to play with as you do right now. Yeah, I know. I'm very lucky in that I have a home studio, um, and um, it's proving to be very uh, useful in, in a time like this. You know, it's, it's very, um, yeah, I'm very lucky, but it's, it's weird because, you know, my mindset was really in a different mindset. <laughs> so yeah. I'm having to like slowly get back into the kind of like mind of, of actually writing. So it's taken a little while to adjust, but no, I'm, I'm, I am very lucky to have this space. Now, it, would you mind be able, would you be able to give us like a little tour or, or, or show us what else is in there? I, I see a bunch of keyboards and things and. Yeah, sure. So this is kind of one, one sort of keyboard rack. Um, this is a JD 800 that I've just got. That's the Nord. That's the um, that's the Korg MS20 right there, and that's another Korg. And then I've got my drum kit set up at the moment. Wow! And then other keyboard. That's the SH101 there, and that's uh, my OB6. But I'm getting I'm actually in the middle of kind of getting a whole other keyboard rack because I've got I've just got another um, keyboard. Uh, that I've bought so I'm gonna have another keyboard rack just here and I've got a bunch of gear that really uh, you know it's all in storage but um, I'm kind of just slowly bit rebuilding the studio back to writing mode <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I can imagine gosh you, you know yeah. uh, how much of yeah, this that is you know all kind of there's the monitors and yeah that's it's kind of it's not a big space but it's enough for me you know how much of this goes on the road with you? Um, a fair, uh, actually, the only out of this, the um, MS20, uh, so this one comes on the road with us, but um, that's about it. I mean, I'm quite lucky, uh, you know, I play with a Simmons kit live and I've got a bunch of spare ones just over there, but um you know, we've kind of developed the show so that the live show is like a different entity to, to the recording studio. So um, it's, yeah, I've, I've got a whole other bunch of gear just specifically for yeah. for the live show. But this kind of relatively stays stays the same, really. Right. Well, obviously, the album's been only out for a few months now, and you were supposed to be on a big tour right now in the States. I think you're supposed to be in San Francisco this week, but it I seems know. like Europe and the UK got quite a head start. They've got to see you live, you released a few singles, and you played Glastonbury. What was it like playing all these shows, a big festival like that? Oh, it's, it's just been phenomenal. It's been the changing point of my life I think it's been a career defining moment and um, it, the, the reaction from last year when we when we put out started out as the first tune I don't think I ever really expected the sort of reactions that came after releasing it I I really thought that song was quite an odd song you know I, I always have uh, com I had confidence with these songs because I'd put so much work into them and I I really hoped that they would start to connect to, with people um, but I had no idea that started out would kind of do what it did and the album coming out and getting the reaction that it has done has just been you know beyond my imagination and beyond my expectations so it's been, it's been really fantastic. And I'm, I'm really, I feel really lucky that we released it when we did, because I did get to play a few live shows and I got to tour around Europe and do the shows in, in London. And, um, you know, it was, it was just so incredible. Amazing. Well, the album has been doing really well. A lot of critical acclaim, a lot of nice words being written about it. How validating is that? 
especially being the daughter of someone who created such an influential band, your dad being in left field? It's incredible because the, the album, you know, my album is very much inspired by dance music. And so, and that's my history and that's my dad really. So that was what made it very personal to me was that I felt very proud to be from that musical heritage um, and I felt very proud to be the daughter of somebody who really made a mark in that um, area. You know, I think my dad's band came, you know, really changed people's lives. It, it was, it was um, music. People look at that scene and they think, oh, you know, it was just about drugs. It was just about hedonism. It was just about, you know, getting out of it and all night raves. And yeah, okay, that was an element of it. But there was also this really powerful movement, which was about people finding um, who they were and finding an identity. And I think that is obviously mus what musical scenes are amazing for, you know, and to feel like you're a little bit part of that um, made me feel very proud and um it, it took it from something just like, you know, not, you know, you're not just emulating something, you're actually um, part of something. And I, I owe that to my, you know, to my dad. So that's when he said he liked it and he got all the kind of references and, and the influences, that was kind of the validation really. And, um, you know, perhaps not validation. It was just like, it felt like, oh, you know, this is, it just felt like a lovely moment. You have been featured on some new music as recently as just last week with the Gorillas and yeah. Peter Hook. Like you talk about a moment, uh, you know, your your profile ke keeps getting uh, higher and higher with Aries. Congratulations yeah, on that yeah. too. Thank you. Thank you. What was that process like working with those guys? Was it all virtual? Was it actually in the studio? It was an amazing, the whole story really is is quite, um, an amazing story. I had worked with Damon um, on a on a project called Africa Express. We we went to South Africa about two years ago, and I got very close to to um, all all the people there, including Damon. It it was just an incredibly powerful week, and um, we all put our heart and soul into this project, and it was very like an emotional journey. And at the end of it, we played this um a gig in in the middle of johannesburg and it was just like we were all crying and and you know and couldn't believe what we had done and so i think i sort of cemented a, a relationship that went beyond just kind of working together with everyone it was like a it was like a bond you know he's become a very um you know dear dear friend and 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 kind of you know just um a person in my life really and and that just kind of developed and then we got an email just saying oh you know is Georgia around um gorillas would like her to come in the studio and just you know you know Damon's got a song in mind and blah 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 and and so I went round and um to the studio and um you know um Damon played me Aries and um yeah and it was it was just it was just incredible I knew I knew you know, from, from the moment that, that that song was was special. It's such a great song. Well, we really appreciate your time for doing this. Uh, Seeking Thrills is an amazing album. It's the escapism that we need, and I thank you for making the album, and thank you for your time, and, and stay safe out there. Well, thank you. It means the world that over where you guys are that the album means something, and thank you for, for yeah, just asking me such great questions and supporting my music that it really does mean the world yeah totally and I'll, I'll i'll be in i'll be right with you very soon i you know I, I can promise that and we look forward to it thanks so much georgia check out georgia's latest album it is called seeking thrills